Sir Bishop, 47 years old, from California, here to do my first board awards. It's been a dream of mine to actually take everything that I've learned and seen from watching boxing as a little kid all the way up to a grown man. I want to try to take everything I've learned and use it in a real fight. Now, fighting out of the red corner, a veteran of the Border Wars series, Dr. Mofongo, hailing from Long Island by way of Washington Heights. My name is Jerry, AKA Dr. Mofongo. My third Border Wars, uh, I've done three out of the last four with this one. Anytime one of these comes around and I can make one, uh, it's always something that I look forward to doing. Uh, it helps me, give me, gives me a goal, helps me, uh, you know, like I like to say, get off the couch and get in there and uh, test myself. This is a third matchup of a four-round schedule here at Steve Cunningham's Boxing Academy. We have Sir Bishop fighting out of the blue corner. Please step forward. Thank you for giving me the opportunity, my man. I appreciate it. Dr. Mofongo fighting out of the red corner. Please step forward, sir. Sir Bishop, thank you for taking the fight. Uh, it's an honor to share the ring with you and to share the experience with you. I know you're gonna give it your all. I'm gonna give it my all, and uh, may the best man win. All right, you ready? You ready? Fight hard, fight, please. Here we go. The action is on. All right, body, body, body. Again, give these two gentlemen a round of applause. Come on, guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's been an explosive Border Wars 8. So I congratulate you both, but obviously there can be only one. And today, your champ or your winner. This actually worked out better than I thought. <laughs> My man Mafungo, he's tough. He, he brought it to me. It's like he was bullying me. It looked like I was turning my back to him. He actually turned me. So I had to let the dogs loose. He made me step it up quicker than I had anticipated. I could tell that the guy is an athlete. I mean, I could just tell 
just by the way he carries himself, seeing him warm up. So I never, from the beginning, looked past the guy. I knew it was going to be tough going in, whether or not it was his first fight. With, with or without the, the experience, uh, I just knew it was going to be tough. I felt like the stoppage would come over time. I didn't think it was going to be in the first round, though. My whole thing coming in was no secret, was trying to get inside on him and keep it keep it close. Um, but he did a great job of fending that off, and uh, he caught me with a great shot, a few good shots. And uh, you get buzzed, you get buzzed, and then sometimes you just are never the same after you get buzzed that first time. Moving targets become a challenge. But, yo, I just stayed persistent with it. You know what I mean? I won't say I'm done, but I learned everything's a learning experience. So off of this fight, I learned a few things. Like you said, lack of sparring and lack of some other things going in. I don't have that fundamental training going in. And I would say this, moving on with Border Wars, I got to take a long, hard look at that because it could play a role, you know, when it comes to uh, challenges. Whether you win or you lose in Border Wars, it's special. And, and, and whether if you lost or not, you still got a victory because you followed through, you manned up, you took care of all your responsibilities and you made it here. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everyone who fought today, whether you won or you lost.